It's Friday. This week has been really crazy. So, uh, between my computer crashing and many other things happening this week, I didn't get anything posted. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a week in review. I do have clips from the whole week. I'm just going to go through the week, give you an, give you an idea of what happened this week. Because I've got a whole bunch of stuff for the week. I just haven't been able to get it all together for individual episodes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a week in review. You need help with that? Okay. All right. Give Daddy just a second. Well, little man. You know what? It's just you and me for a little while today. Auntie's got to go into town for some stuff. We dropped off the girls this morning. Auntie had to go into town to get a few things done, so today I've got Mr. Mello. He's in here sound asleep. The place looks pretty good. Obviously there's still lots of work to do, but the place doesn't look bad. I'm just wandering through to take a look at how things look. We've got a bunch of trees. These stumps are just not... I'm pretty confident we killed them. We're just not getting rid of them. I'm going to leave the guys here. I'm going to head home. The person from forestry isn't going to be here till this afternoon. And I'm really hoping that Auntie will be home before then. So I don't have to worry about Mr. Mello being out here uh, while we're working. I did douse him in bug spray, so we should be all right. All right, now we've made good progress. We cleared a big area over here that had branches. And today, these guys are going to clear these branches here. Look, we've got all these branches stacked up here. These are going to be turned into wood chips. Now, the backhoe guy was out here yesterday, and he cleaned this up really nice. This road is nice, and it's, it's reasonably smooth for a dirt road. And considering how wet it was, it's beautiful now. Yeah, this area now, the guy really smoothed it out nice. It's comfortable. Yeah, nice clear now we can drive this road without much trouble and I think we're high enough so it would take an awful lot of rain for us to have the kind of problems that we were having before here's the turn and this is where I had the worst trouble right here and he filled this in nice it's raised pretty high too you can see here so we got a nice smooth road. It's nice and dry too. I see the backhoe is here, so I'm hoping I'm going to take a look and see how much we got done. It looks like we probably got something done. We're going to pull this stump out. Uh, I was trying to burn it, but we've got some stuff planted close. I'm going to pull this thing out. Got the backhoe guys here. He's been moving a bunch of the wood out of the way, which is going to make it possible for us to start planting. By tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow, we're going to have this place cleaned up nice, and I'm going to be ready to start planting again. I just have to move the bees so we can get the last of those trees down. That's the top to this mahogany. It, it just broke off. I, I don't know exactly how this happened, but it happened. It's, it's healthy, and I could probably leave it. But I've got a hundred of these, and I want these to be top quality veneer logs. What we want to do is make sure that we only have one stem so these other three they got to go there so instead of having three competing for this spot this one's the only one and what should happen is as this grows this stems gonna straighten up and this will look like it's one straight trunk 
instead of an offshoot. Oh, there, pretty girl. Look at your brother. You look at how he's sleeping up on his knees like that. And not sleeping, and that's a way. Well, he's been sleeping that way for a little while. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, he's just awake. Yeah. Just awake. He's awake? Yeah. Oh, okay. Been kind of an odd day today. Got a little done this morning. I dropped the guys off at the land, had them doing some work. Then I went home to get a few things done at home. And now I'm headed back out. We're gonna get the beehive moved today. It looks like they did run the chipper. They ran this stuff through the chipper. This is beautiful stuff. So are you gonna play with those now? Is that what you're gonna do? Yes. I didn't this. Yes. Well, you know, yeah. you know that and that. Both of them are for you and for your brother. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look at that. You guys remember we needed to move this beehive, and I'm going to show you. We only moved it less than a hundred yards. Here's where we are, and the beehive was over there. Unfortunately, this violates the rule. Two feet or two miles. We're going to try a little trick to force these bees to reorient themselves. This is the front of the hive. We packed it with newspaper to keep the bees from coming out so we could move the hive. Now, what we're going to do is take a bunch of branches and cover this entrance with branches. So when the bees come out, they have to come out and fight their way through the branches and this will force them to reorient for this spot. Now all I did is lay these branches across this. Um, I'm going to lay another branch. I'm going to lay another branch right here. So the bees are forced to go through this to get out. The goal is to make them reorient to this spot. I'm not sure how this is coming up, but the bees are coming out and they're going through this process. If you look, they come out and they swarm around in circles. We had to get out of here because they were a little aggressive. And now we can see some of them. And it did look like they were going through the process, that orientation process. You see all the branches. We have that whole entrance covered. They come out and they go through this process to reorient. And I kind of wish all the stumps would burn like this one. Look at this. The whole center is rotted out. Well, the whole center has been burned out. Now granted, they told me this tree was rotted out in the center. That's why. But this we set this fire last night it's growing this good now so it burned all night like that all right we got the guys over here working with the chipper so they're going to chip everything up over here before we start working on the other side we're not going to get ahead of ourselves this time we're going to keep up so when we're done, we're done. We're not gonna have to worry about this crap that we were doing before. We're over here, and this is really close to where the hive used to be. And we've got, I don't know, I wanna say a couple, eh, a few dozen, maybe as many as 100 bees over in this area. And this is not a surprise. The bees aren't used to the new location yet, so. They're wandering. We're gonna let them be. 
and they will go back to the hive eventually. You know why you're wearing your regular clothes and not your uniform today? Yeah. Why? The beehive has been moved, like I said, three days ago we moved it. The first day we had a reasonable number of bees going to the old location. The second day I moved some of the branches out of the way. And then this morning I moved all the branches out of the way. So the goal was to force them to go through the branches. They went through the branches, they had to reorient. Now. Many of the bees did not reorient, took them a couple days. The second day, we had less bees. The third day, which is today, all the bees are coming right back here. They look great, it, it looks fantastic. So, we were able to relocate the bees. We're gonna leave them right here. Not gonna mess with them, I'm not going into the hive, I'm not doing anything for at least a week. Uh, probably two weeks. We'll leave them right here for a couple weeks, let them do their thing.